Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you're enjoying the game and find Kate Sith absolutely adorable, the game pose, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you want. Um, for this week's comment, tell, or, or, uh, question, what is your favorite myth? Kate Sith is based around a Scottish mythological creature, so let's go with that. It could be from any part in the world, you decide. Now, off screen, I did do a little bit of the uh, folio, and I equipped the golden uh, megaphone to Kate Sith so we can learn the ability. It's literally just letting Mog punch a bitch. So, yay! Ah, oh, for crying out loud! What is it this time? You'll require the password, Super Steve. Yeah. Huh? Yo again! Now, now, no need for violence. than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourself out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> Four two-digit numbers. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Four two-digit numbers. Is it four two-digit numbers or just... Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to be behind these. Oh, there's one of them. 97. I think that's the year the game came out. Thirty six, ten, fifty nine, ninety seven. All right. So let me write this down real quickly. Thirty six, ten, fifty nine, ninety seven. The question is, do I need to put them in a specific order? What? Oh god, this is the safe bull crap. So, three. No. Three, six, ten, All right, let me take a look at this again. Or is it backwards? Thirty six, ten, fifty nine, ninety seven. 
All right, then let's try this. Oh, it's an actual, there's actual 10. Okay. So 36. Ten. Fifty nine ninety seven. The safe uh, was done pretty similar, but you had to do it in a specific way. If you went over it, you'd have to restart the entire thing. It was so annoying. And it was a timer to it. By the way, this is the boss guarding Odin from the original game. It is nasty. What if it has the same effect as the uh, original version? Let's see what it says. Like no physical damage, it will take it'll make it resistant to physical attacks, while magic attacks will make it resistant to magic. Forcing it to switch resistance as multiple times will pressure it. Physical damage will the spell reflect. Well, magic dispel shield. Okay. That's the effect, by the way. Punch. Aerith. Okay, and Ward. So now he's super strong. He's strong. Ho oh, ho! Oh, damn. Thanks for the heal. Get out of the way. Not didn't get out of the way. Spells. Let's double comment this bitch. Mount up. Book of Magic! What shift? Alright, nice physical. Oh, nice magical. I think this is actually the preferred way you fight him too in this form. Yeah, scan him, right? Yeah, good. Got that, got that. Sergi. Mayhem go around. Yeah! I love it. Abilities. That's also Lady Luck. surprised that they did it this way. It's actually kind of funny. He actually was inside of the safe again. 
abilities. Mega Moogle Mesh. Alright, it's back to magic. Now she has her summon, her magic. Her little break so she can heal. Perfect. Ward back. Comet. Out of the way. You kindly leave Aerith alone, you dick waffle. Juice. Let's heal up. Google magic. Are you making dents? Just not very good ones. Get set. Let's go. There we go. What is your Mega Magic Mog Box? I'm curious about that one. Interesting. Crap. Oh boy, let's do this. We need the physical attacks, not magic though. So let's double comment. The left arm. Moogle! Sergi! Perfect shot. Go with that one. That was the wrong one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Fucking ward here. Get out of the way. Then get out of the way. Tactical. Freaking stop dropping maca poisoning. Fair to be so kind. Triple Ether Aerith. Comet Tentacle. Ow! Back up. That's my, there they are. We still got a job to do. Uh, so we can't hurt the middle one. Cool. Oh, great. She died before she could, we could even do it. There is face down. Bring her back up. Straight into healing wind. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's light up. Like 
I love that she gets sunglasses. Alright, oh boy. Okay, so that's Reflect. Good to know. Oh boy. We have Breach on someone. Perfect. Fury. Howdy. Oh no. Comet. Ground specimen. Just rain hellfire. Arcane Blast, why not? Nice. Oh. I wasn't he built for this kind of thing. Excellent work dispatching that team. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tight. All well earned praise aside, since that meddlesome test subject is finally out of my hair. I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again, exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. I agree. But first things first. I don't want to waste that on everyone. And ethers. Hi, ethers will do. There we go. Whew! So yeah, that's the boss you fight at the, uh, to get Odin, as well as access to another hidden character. Or a hidden character. Um, the safe in the original game is such a pain in the ass to do. Luckily the code doesn't change, so you just look it up and find out what it is. After that, it's just practice. Howdy. Hey there. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense queuing on past mistakes. Uh, right. Oh boy. Alright, what we got here? Now that the team is reunited, the search to continue, Kate Sith is dead set on finding it, but that leaves only uh, but that leaves one empty spot in your party. Both of us may be lucky to choose your party, your comrade wisely. So I have to have Kate Sith in my party. Alright, let's combat settings, leader. And let's bring in Tifa, because Tifa. Okay. Don't see anything worth a while here. Door's locked. Don't know how to jump down the hole. Oh, this door. 
This led to... yeah. Was a bit grim, you know. Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. Why are you here? B3. Your terminal. Mm -hmm. the authorization at least Ooh, great <laughs> though you're clearly not Murasaki explain yourself uh, it's a bit of a long story and we'd love to tell you all about it but there's something we really need to look up first can't go letting a foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, it could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. Then I have one more sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit. Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Oh, a second. Curious about something. So that is Vincent Valentine. Um, he is probably one of the more well-known characters, because he's just straight up a vampire. <laughs> Um, why did you do this? Okay. Um, he is missable, he's miss, not missable in the original game, but he is optional. And he is also probably one of the more broken characters in the game. He's also the only character that got his own sequel. Okay. 
All right. Um, the sequel to the game was called Dirge of Cerberus. Uh, we actually saw a character, two characters from Dirge in a remake. That was uh, Nero and Weiss. Uh, Nero was a the main boss of the final of uh, Integrade, whereas Weiss was an optional fight, boss fight. There she is. Cloud, my boy. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Alright. Can I talk to anyone? What's down here? Hey, Yuffie. But, um, unfortunately, Dirge Service kind of sucked. It was a PS2 era game. The concept itself was actually kind of interesting. But the controls are what really killed it, as well as some of the weird directions they went. Call giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Don't hurt me, please. I can explain. Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. Had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. Fuck me. Okay, Gallant Beast it is. Okay. <laughs> to explain Vincent a little bit. Vincent in the original game had only four limit breaks. Bear in mind... Everyone had eight in total. This is because Vincent was unique in the fact that his limit breaks transformed him into a berserk creature. 
Galleon Beast is his level 1 limit break. His uh, level 3 actually has uh, story implications too, if you believe uh, Dirge of Cerberus, which, since freaking Sector Zero is actually a thing, it probably does in this game too. Let's do this. Galleon Beast, by the way, is a beat. It's literally a freaking beast. He is fucking nuts. Eggman sleeps in a coffin to a mystery. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him. Make him to flinch into inner turmoil or chaotic consumption will make him easier to pressure him. Cool. Let's go. Get up. Let's go. Oh boy. I was not ready for Gillian Beast. I was not. Oh no. Not that. Item with a mist. Get out of that. Damn it. Am I even doing damage to him? Barely. Oh, fuck me. I'm trying to. Fuck. Got that, got that. Damn it. All set. Come on. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Uh. Takes down, Cloud. Get up, buddy. And this is why I kept this. Back up, back up. Alright, oh, uh, inflicting enough damage to pressure him, making him flinch into during your turmoil. Okay, cool. Ow. Dodging. That was a really badass transformation, though. I'll give it that. That was amazing. I can't wait to see his future transformations. Ow. Thank you, Cloud. There we go. Gonna break some assault. Sergi, Moogle, Tifa. I didn't make him flinch. I didn't make him flinch. He did not flinch. Cloud. Um. I'll keep it uh, summoned. Assuming she's gonna survive this. Get away, get away, get away. Where's Q? 
here. Tifa. Could you stop? Fuck, you went right to air turmoil. I know Zandatsuka's not gonna kill him, but it's gonna hurt like a bitch. God, Galleon Beast looks so good. I wonder if we'll see the other transformations too. I doubt it, but it'd be so cool. Oh, he, he, ju he juiced up. Oh, gather that, gather that, gather that. Oh, Chaos Glaives. Lovely. He's using stuff from his other forms. Ow. Please, Odin. Odin. Odin, step by, please. Oh boy, that hurt. Item. Missed Mega. Man, what's the pressure hits? Alright, where is Missed? Ugh. Really don't want to use one many elixirs just yet. Do that. Hit Seth. I was about to do his thing. This won't kill him, but it's gonna hurt like a son bitch. This won't kill him. Nice. Almost max. Let's ride. Oh boy! Come on! Oh no! You can just stop that now. Little break. Summer salt. Cloud. Little break. Ascension. Kate Sith, limit break, magic box. Get bent. Story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> well, that's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another.
this how you want your story to end? Be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. Oh, that fight. I was not ready for, uh, that fight. <laughs> as a fun side note, the only party member you actually do fight, uh, to get as a companion is, uh, Yuffie. Alright, let's keep going. And even then, I think that might possibly even be optional if you, uh, do all the side quests. Then there might be top secret material hidden somewhere here? Is Oh boy. Okay, next up, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof. Well, it ain't like it could go down. <laughs> oh. oh, it's on. <laughs> So, where is it? Hi. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. Mm -hmm. But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if we got her, once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. Oh, boy. First things first. Oh, Gallion Beast is not something to snuff at. He is a powerhouse. So are Vince's other forms, but we'll get to that when we get to that in the next game, probably. Since he doesn't seem to be joining us this time. What's this? Hi.
going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here. Because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Okay, uh, Roshua, fucked up. He bears an SC4 tattoo on his shoulders, proof of his test subject status. <sighs> All right, let's go. What's his stat? Oh, now I can do. Oh, I see what you did. Stygian Chains. Nice name. Ow. Jeebus. Mastered. No holding back. Jeez. Figures it would end like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's try this again. I hate enemies that can just dodge whenever you hit them like that. Skip. I can hit him when he keeps dodging after special attacks. I see. He has a, uh, yeah, he has a little recoil time. Shit. Let's try that again. Got 
got that. There we go. Come on, Roche. Hate that bullshit. I need Kira, guys. I need Kira. Hate that attack. Let me heal up real quick. And even though I know he's pressured, but I need to heal. Damn it! Come on, dodge! Dodge! Have an expression. Beautiful. Second Dodge. Damn it. I need a mix. Hi. Right. That should do. That bull crap. It always seems to be able to track me before I dodge. Or as I'm dodging, I should say. Happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah.
Look. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more? We recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your home. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saru? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. B Zero class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <laughs> Pity about Saru. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak, pursuing her 
is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Hmm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Some, if you would. Sir. mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixa? Hey, cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look, smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Breaking news at this hour. Oh, hi. Cloud. Jed. I'm picking up proto relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. Alright, sure. Next time. So can I fast shovel yet, or am I still... I can fast travel. In response to last night's Let's save real quick. There's one thing I want to do real quick. I want to kind of end this chapter. Illegal broadcast by the SRC. President Rusa Chinra held a hey. press conference this morning. Stood up. Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. About your mother. Her name's Epona, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. You know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. You were knee-high to a tonberry. I was what? I was a smogger, I'd wager. <laughs> but damn. No longer with us. That's a crying shame. Truly. Hey, Missy. It's Aerith. Aerith. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? I uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying a 
this around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the saucer for free. Free? It's fine, we'll pay. Now it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Do I, if I talk to Sid, does it take me straight to the saucer, or can I, like, dick around? I kind of want to dick around. Hey, good to go? Nope, go straight to the saucer. Alright, so we're going to call it here. Um, I'm going to explore a little bit of the new area we unlocked. Um, mostly this type of stuff. See if anything's uh, unlocked on the path that led up to um, the reactor. And I think that's also side quests too. And I'll do some side quests. Uh, next time we will start the set, we'll do the um, zoo that I need to fight, which is down over here. And we'll also fight, uh, or we'll do the Proto Relic. First, I want to see what this quest is. Oh, this is to get, um, uh, Tifa's uh, lost cat. It's a cute little side quest from what I've read. Um, I'll work on that off screen. But I hope you guys enjoyed this set. I'll see you guys next time. We'll continue on from there. If you would like to support the channel more than just watching my videos and listening to me drown on about stupid shit, uh, feel free to check my description or the main page for a link to my book. It comes with a free download app, as far as I can tell. That allows you to read the ebook. Um, it's also on a Kindle device if you have it. Um, if you do not wish to buy it but still wish to support me, feel free to recommend it to a friend. You do not need to. I am not telling you to buy anything from me. Just a little... Something if you want to do it or not. But I'll see you guys next time. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.